Hello everyone. So in our last um, tutorial, we have gotten our system up and running. We've been able to complete the registration to an extent. We have um, added, well, we've not added this. We have added it, we have not used it. So we just be using it now. Uh, we've done our login, we've done our logouts, we have not done password reset, and then we've not done log activities. However, we have done our dashboard page. So the next thing we want to do is just to basically complete a few things about our dashboard, which is to display this message that we have here. Uh, to do that is quite easy, and uh, I'm just going to be quickly doing that now before we move on to the last item we have on our page, which is functions. Uh, functions is going to make a lot of things easier for us. Uh, no, we are not writing with it right now. Let me open my, um, where is it? Okay, there it is. Um, okay, so I'll close all this. So we would start from where we stopped. Want to work on our, our dashboard. Let's log out and try to log in again. Everything works. So let's try to work on our dashboard now. Our dashboard is uh, this page. So what we want to do is to display certain information about the user. And right now we just want to display the username and then tell them that you are logged in as this person. There are a few ways we can do it. However, I'll be using one of the easiest ways, uh, ways that can be done. I'll come back to my login and save certain information in my, okay, that should be process login and save certain information in the in a session that can be used later in the, in the code. So I'll duplicate this, I'll say username. Well, let's call it full name because username may mean something else. And then it will be the first name um, plus a space and then plus again the last name which is user object last name. So what we are doing is to keep the first and the last name of the user in this variable, which we are going to be using later on. And then let's, uh, this is too much, copy this. Let's use uh, this one. So the next thing we need to save in a session is the role of this person, which is uh, the role of this person, which is in our own case, I think that it's called designation. I think that it's called designation. Designation. And then I'll put that here. Actually, let me call it role, so it's easy for me to print it out there. So we saved all this here, which means it is now available on my dashboard. Uh, let's copy this. We are logged in as. So let's just print that out here and say, welcome um, PHP. Let's echo out the session that we have. Let's echo out um, the full name. So we are saying welcome full name. You are, let's wrap this so it's easy for you to see. You are logged in as, let me enter the rule here, which we have already saved in the session. So we just echo it out right here. You are logged in as role. Is that all? I think that is all we have. Logged in full name. Right, so lastly, we can just say, and your, your ID is, and then since we have it, let's use, let's use it. Um, so our system is, it's uh, working, it's, it's okay. It doesn't look too good, but I mean, it's still fair. So let's refresh this. Uh, there's something wrong somewhere. It says undefined index full name. Okay, I need to log out, then log in again, so that that will be set. And now it is set. Welcome, my name. You are logged in as 
medical team and your ID is. So from here, we can now do other things. So let's let's try to log in as a, let's try to create account as a patient and see if that uh, displays patient. Uh, my password is one two three four five. I'll copy this so I can use it for the login and select a female patient and then say patient. And the patient is trying to get to. What do they call that children's word? They just call it children's word. Pediatry or something. Okay, so I've registered this new user, patient, and then the password, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, as you can see, it displays welcome patient test. They are logged in as a patient, and your ID is this. So we've been able to uh, display based on the user role. So one other thing we can do is to have different page for different roles. And we just do that check right here. So what do I mean by this? I'll just do a test. This is not going to be part of the work we do for this project. Uh, we're just going to be a test. We can have a page and call it patients.php. And then have a page called it medical team.php. So for patients, on this page, we just have a echo patient uh, content display here. And on this page, we will have medical and echo it. I need to echo it out. Medical. So on my login process now, process login now, I can check what roles they are playing in my hospital and then say if if uh, the user role or designation is if it is uh, if it's equal to patient, then okay, that's capital P. If it is equal to patient, capital P send them to uh, this page I think it's plural patients yes otherwise send them to this page which is medical director or medical teams page so let's log out and try this uh, I'm going to log in as my patient My password is one two five one two three four five. So I come to the login at uh, the patient's page. Unfortunately, I can't log out, so I need to go back to say dashboard. I still have my dashboard here. I log out. If I log in as a medical team member, there's an error somewhere. Let's see, on line five, on empty line five. Here, I could also close it. So that's the problem. Refresh, and I'm on the medical team's uh, page. So we, we, there are a lot of things we can do. We can have different access for them. We can say, okay, on this page, the patient should not see a particular menu item. We carry out the check just like I did for, uh, like I did for, I'm going to close this and delete them. I don't need them. Um, delete this, not that, delete this. I think I just deleted you. Okay, yeah, it's the correct one. I also need to delete patients and undo all this. I'll leave that to you to uh, try to work it out. It's not just something simple. Okay. So that's that. Um, so for, for, for other things you can do, you can check certain menu items and make it available to certain people and say if you are not um, in this category of people, you should not see this menu, you should not see this content. You can do a lot of things with it. Basically, that is what it means to create an access level, access control level. Um, you, you, of course, this is just the basic 
um, display of what it means. There are a lot of things you can do. You can still set different permissions for different levels of access. You can say uh, this person, you can assign different things to each of the rooms. But for now, just understand that this is the simplest way to explain it. So the next thing we might be going on to is our password reset, which is a way for the users to reset their password. If somebody forget their password or they just decide to reset it, uh, they can use this option here to reset their password. And what it requires is we need, let me scroll down. So we need a page, a page to receive their email address. Um, that's the email address associated with their account with us. And then we need a page for the actual password to set. So there are two options actually. When you are logged in, when you are logged in, what you should get here is change password, not forgot password. So I can quickly just do that here and do a check on my header, my library, my other header, that's footer. My footer right here. So if I'm logged in, just like I have here, um, I just change this to, if I'm not logged in, I have my forget password as usual. If I'm logged in, I would have reset password. So this way the user understands what's going on and is able to say, yeah, so I just want to reset my password because I'm already logged in, I should not actually uh, if I forget my password, then I, I shouldn't be able to log in. If I'm already logged in, I, ju I just need to change the password. For the changing of password now, what I need, so this is for uh, forgot password. For the changing of password, what I need is, I need a page. Okay, I need to bring it up. I need a page for, um, Okay, page, they need to tell me their old password and then new password. So they need to be able to prove to me that uh, I understand, I know the password to this account and I own this account. And my best way of doing that is to ask them for their old password since they are trying to reset their password. So this way, if a person that owns the account, say the person leaves the, um, the computer on and leaves his account open, and somebody else just stumbles on the account. The person, the whoever stumbles on the account should not be able to change the account password because I'm going to be asking for the old password. So we're going to be working on these two aspects as we move on in the tutorial. We're going to be doing the forgot password first and then move on to password reset.